Hey everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to make a simple driver. This is the beginning of a master class that I'll be giving in drivers and basically going everything I know about how to create them. So today we're just gonna make a very simple driver. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this camera and this light and I'm just gonna go to object, delete. I'm going to select the cube and I'm going to just move it to the side. I'm going to go to object duplicate. And I'm just going to move it over here. It doesn't really matter where it is, just as long as you have two cubes in your scene. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with the driver today is to drive the rotation of this cube with the location of this cube. A driver is essentially a set-driven key for Maya, or almost like a connection editor for Maya, and it just allows you to connect two keyable elements in Blender. If something can be keyed, it can be driven. So if I right-click on this location tab here, I can insert a keyframe or insert a single keyframe, or I can add a driver or open driver editor. If something can't be keyframed, you usually can't add a driver. So I'm gonna select on this cube here and under rotation X, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click add driver. Now in Blender 2.8, this panel comes up. I don't wanna use this yet. I wanna use the actual driver window right now. So I'm just gonna click to exit that. Down here, expand your timeline and then come to this icon over here and we're going to flip this editor type to drivers. So this is the driver window, and this is where I work a lot when I'm rigging uh, characters or rigging something for a set or a prop. One thing to note, when you open this up, there is another panel over here. There's this little arrow right here. You can either put your mouse over that and drag it over, or you can hit N on your keyboard. Now, over here on the left-hand side, I have cube.001, drivers, and X Euler rotation. If I click on that, I get all these other panels over here. I'm just gonna expand this a little bit more. You have an F curve option. We're not gonna deal with that today. I'm just gonna go to drivers. And there's a couple things here we're gonna enter just to make our simple driver for today. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set type to scripted expression. I'm fine with it being that for now. In a future video, I'll go over all of these and what they do. Expression, I'm just going to type in var. Now var just means variable, and down here, add input variable is where you input your information to make a driver. So the object that I want to drive this rotation is this cube here. So if I click here, it'll bring up these objects, and I can click on cube. Now I want to drive it with the Z location and the local space. The reason I want to do the local space is I only want it to be when that cube is being moved. If it's parent to something, it'll take the world space location. So that's it to set up a very simple driver. If I select this cube and now translate it, I am driving the rotation of this cube with that cube's location. So try setting up some other ones on your own. There's other things I can do, like maybe instead of Z location, I can do Z scale. So on this one, when I scale it, the scale will drive that rotation. Anyway, that's a quick video on just how to create a simple driver in Blender. Uh, there's more to come in the future and stay tuned for future updates. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.